Anderson from Sweet Bakes here with Spotlight and I have a really fun idea for you to bake this Valentine's Day. In a few simple steps, I'll be showing you how to make these secret love note cookies. The very first step we need to do is to make your favourite cookie dough. I've just tinted mine with a little bit of Wilton Rose Pink. Then we're going to place some flour on baking paper and just begin to roll this out. So keeping the cookie dough between two sheets of baking paper will mean that it doesn't stick to your rolling pin and you get a really nice and smooth finish. Each cookie consists of three larger hearts, so we need to go ahead and cut those out of the dough we've just rolled. Then on the third heart, we use the smaller cutter, pop that in there, and this will make the hole where we can fill in all the fun stuff. I like to keep the cookie cutters in the piece that we have removed the center from. Because it is a quite a thin cookie, it's easier to move it if it's all secured nicely in there. And now these are ready for the oven. The cookies are out of the oven, it's time for the fun part. We get to decorate. Going to place some corn flour onto the bench just to prevent this from sticking. The ideal thickness for the fondant is around four or five millimeters. Take our big heart cutter and cut into the fondant and give it a little wiggle so it comes out with a nice clean shape. Adhere that to our cookie just with a small brush of water. Just like that. It's time to impress our message into the cookie. I have this stamp tool where I have spelt out the words break me, but just remember to write it backwards or else when you turn it around, it won't read the right way. Next, we're going to be making some gold paint. We start by adding in some gold luster dust to a paint palette, as well as a drop of clear alcohol. Now we just add in a small brush of gold from one of the top corners of the cookie. That beautiful brush stroke effect. We need to melt our Wilton candy melts in white into a microwave safe bowl and pop them in the microwave for 30 second bursts. We want them to be all melted and nice and creamy. So now we're going to pop the melted candy melts into a piping bag. We're just going to do a little incision off the end with some scissors here. And you want to work pretty quickly because the candy melts do set really fast. Then we get to drizzle this all across that gold. We add on the sprinkles on top of the melts. It's time to write your secret love note for your Val or your Galentines. Now it's time to assemble our cookies. All we're going to do is take those candy melts you had in the piping bag earlier and place a small border onto this centerpiece and pop this onto the base. Fold up your love note ready to place into the middle of that cookie and then fit as many sprinkles as you can into the center. The very last step, we just have to glue the lid on top. Again, taking those candy melts, drawing a small border around the edge and placing the topper on there, just like that. Make sure to keep an eye out for more of Spotlight's amazing DIY videos and be sure to subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was my secret love note, say. Be my Valentine! Oh, <laughs> how cute is that? <laughs>